So, Paul, uh, compared to the uh, New Zealand series, how tough do you think South Africa will be? South Africa are renowned, uh, very good we- uh, test side. And, uh, and really, it's going to be a good, good test for us at the moment and uh, see where we are as a cricket team. Um, but obviously, they've got a lot of pace on the side, so there's going to be a lot, a lot of more different challenges than what we've had against New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand were a, a fighting side, they, they knew their strengths, played test cricket very much in the one day form of the game. Uh, put a lot of pressure on your score and runs, and, um, and used Victoria very well. So, in many ways, South Africa is going to be so much more different. There'll be more opportunity to score from our point of view because of the pace on the ball and the more attacking fields. But uh, it's going to be a tough one because, they, as I said, they've got a very strong back line up as well. And, um, and the Seamans look a uh, formidable unit. And I suppose you've turned the bowling machine uh, up a notch or two for the South African quick bowlers. Yeah, I mean, um, it's, we obviously face our own bowlers in the nets all the time. And uh, in the likes of Jimmy, they get up 90 mile an hour plus. And Brody, the, you know, the guys are actually pretty quick themselves. So Freddie's been in the nets this morning. He was bowling just over 90, I'm sure. So uh, we get this practice all the time. And, uh, but the boys have been doing very specific drills and obviously trying to come back to the different angles that the South Africans pull at, and then Tini come on wide of the crease, and, and these are all the different things that you've got to try to um, you know, work on before you, you go out in the middle, so um, there's been a lot of hard work being put in. And was it, was it kind of uh, good as an English player to have Freddie Flintoff back in the nets playing this morning? It was, yeah, I mean, what Freddie brings along is uh, great spirit, and um, it's good to see that he's, he's looking fit, and he's raring to go, you know, when he's had the injuries that he's had over the past year or so. He's, um, he's determined, and um, that's great. I mean, when, I, when you get a player back like him, it's great for England cricket team and, and great for English cricket. But uh, certainly when he come back and, comes back and, uh, and practices with the boys this morning, you can, you can sense that he's around. And with players like him on the fringes of coming back and people like Simon Jones as well, how much pressure is on the actual guys in the team to perform at Laws this week? Yeah, there's always pressure on us, uh, to be honest with you. The good thing about English cricket is that um, you know, there's a lot of good county cricketers around and putting pressure on us. And, and that's great for competition for places. And, you know, we know that we have to perform. And it's always been like that. Um, we know that Freddie's going to come back. He's a world-class performer. And, um, and from a player's point of view, you don't want to be the one that um, gives way from him. So... Uh, it, I guess it, in many ways it gives you that extra motivation to go out there and, and, and put that big performance in um, that hopefully keeps you on the side. OK, looking at the South African side, who have you identified as their, their kind of key players? Um, obviously, um, I think the funny thing is that we're really concentrating on what we can do uh, as a team. and um, We know that if we stick to our game plans and stick to our own strengths, that we'll, um, you know we'll do very well. It's as simple as that. And I think you obviously work out where you're going to bowl at different players throughout the series, um, how you're going to combat their bowlers. And we really are 100% focused on that. I'm not going to pinpoint out um, players and say we're targeting anybody in particular because um, that's not, not the way that we operate. Um, but they have got some very strong players in there that if, if you can get them out cheaply, um, it's going to go a long way in, in us winning the Test match.